Hi, Kevin with Water Monster here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install our water gauge. So let's get started. Out of the box, the water gauge is pre-assembled and ready to install. First, apply the water gauge sticker on the side of the Water Monster tank, just above the hose bib. Screw on the hose splitter to the hose bib as shown. Stretch the fill tube and clamp it under the lip of the lid. If you're filling your water monster tank with a pressurized food grade hose, you'll need to connect it to the left side of the hose splitter. You'll also need a female to female swivel fitting that came with your water monster tank to connect it. Okay, to begin filling, first turn off the water fill tube, turn on the water source line here and on the water monster tank. So now you can turn your water source on, the water will flow straight up, but it's not gonna go up the fill tube yet. So as you're filling, if you wanna check the water level, you'll need to turn the water source off first to block the water flow, and then you can turn the water gauge on. You see the water levels go up there. So now the water in the tank is flowing backwards and going up the tube, uh, but we're not, we've shut the water off here. So again, now if you wanna continue filling, you have to turn the water gauge off, turn the water source back on to continue filling. If you leave this open while the water's trying to fill, it will squirt out the top and spray everywhere. So as you can see right now, the water level's at 65 gallons. So once the water tank is full to your desired level, you'll notice here that we've removed the hose, we have this valve shut off, and the water flows backwards through this and then the water gauge will display. And if your water levels get low, you just connect it right back up, turn it on and fill it and repeat as needed. Well, that's a wrap. I hope the video was helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, you can call me directly. Thanks.